Hi, hello, it is your girl Astrojoy coming at you with another video. On this channel, we love to talk about love, light, joy, and peace. So if you, my friend, are one of those amazing light beings that are spreading these beautiful vibrations to the planet, then hit subscribe and join the Good Vibes Delivery. Thank you. So today we have a special pick a card reading. And this is going to be an energetic, uh, spiritual health uh, check-in. We're going to be adding in some yoga cards, some tarot to get more insight on the energies and um, what we need to do to just allow ourselves to really be at peace, be calm, and um, to feel the healing that is taking place. So we have group one and group two. Group one and group two. One, two, whoa. Which one to choose? You can take a nice big breath and exhale. And whatever side of the screen your eye feels more drawn to, then that is the side that you are going to be so we have one and we have two i'm going to begin with our beautiful group one's pile group two i will see you at your timestamp down below all right so hello 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 group one here is your card we have the shamanic dream quartz associated with that so it's clear quartz with little um, iron minerals inside of it and it is beautiful I wonder if you can kind of see them there anyways let's see what your card says this card is titled empty vessel of light and the card says oh for now you understand to stand presently in your true light you show the light allowing it to face so bright Colors frequently show you the frequency of your sight. Tapped in, tuned on, turned into the new vibration of your favorite song. Ooh, so very beautiful. This is a very um, spiritual card to get, and it's speaking all about, you know, the chakras being in tuned and aligned. Um, so really beautiful energy already. Let's see what... Hmm, tarot cards we will draw out just to see um, <laughs> where we're at what we need some insight or clarity on you know and of course at this time what can we do to just take care of our health okay so those those are the questions spirit I'm gonna ask for three cards for group one Thank you. Okay. Okay, so you guys got the Four of Swords. Um, this is the first card that fell out. And as you can see, definitely now is such a good time to meditate, to really um, refine your thoughts and to rest on the thoughts that um, and ideas that you are thinking is the best or most beneficial for you. So with Six of Swords being the next card, this is a progression in um, the mindset. Uh, it could be rather swift, but you are definitely trying to figure out where um, best place to put your mindset. Where should you put all these swords, right? Uh, where should your mind be focused on at this time? Where should you be perhaps communicating to others or showing others your ideas? And then... With the judgment um, being the last card, we are seeing that at this time, it might be very good for you to refrain from using your thoughts to judge others. I'm seeing that maybe you are, your thoughts are going away from judging others with um, the positioning of the cards. Yeah, so 
very interesting you have you know judgment is also 20 and we're in the 2020th year and then with the four of six four plus six equals ten so that's a full completion i'm seeing that you're um i want to say you're going away from the judgment but it's more like the thoughts in your mind you are where before maybe you weren't sure what to think of other people i'm seeing you're kind of you're moving away from judging others or simply just seeing more of an unconditional love or filter or seeing everyone as clean. You know, these people, they're all naked in the water, um, pretty unfazed, just welcoming this angel coming in. So with that being said, I'm seeing that, you know, once your mindset is your thoughts are going away from anything negative around judgment that's going to be a major help and when it comes to judgment um it is kind of that constriction force you can think of it that um leads to assumptions it leads to kind of building up on this fake um idea of someone or something that we've created in our own minds so uh very interesting like just i'm getting a lot of really um stop judging yourself stop judging others um understanding that to be free of judgment is to truly be free so let's see we got some alchemy decks that uh cards that decided to come out for you guys and um Let's see what these two beautiful cards have to say. Okay, so the first one is words. People are like words. We don't judge a word. It is just showing a message for this moment of life. Whoa, guys. So crazy that you got that and then you got judgment. And this is, you know, people are like words. So we don't judge a word. Whew, so... That's quite powerful. That's really powerful, especially for your reading. So maybe perhaps you've been dwelling on certain words people have been saying. But I'm seeing you're dropping any judgment you uh, created around what that person said or how they acted. And your mindset is moving away from, from that. You're not dwelling in the past. <laughs> So, wow, very beautiful. And the last um, alchemy card you guys got is Habuk. Habuk. So Habuk says, I consciously choose to change towards divine radiant light. Each cell in my body, thought in my mind, quantum in my soul is being changed for godlike abilities. And I love the process of love, light, peace, and joy being present in every aspect of my life. And so it is. This is the essence of divine light splitting through and multiplying. Um, and was like a channeled sigil. So very powerful card. And this is just letting me know with, um, with the card that you chose, group one, that uh, you are activating your crystalline light body. And, uh, you know, when you start inheriting the qualities of the creator or, you know, that omnipotent, potent god creation force then you drop judgment because it created all right and it did not judge its creations for being good or bad because they were there for a purpose and that was that's purpose so um yeah you guys are definitely like stepping into beautiful energy with this i'm seeing you know, really try to drop all judgment, especially from, you know, yourself, but also other people at this time. Um, that's what I'm seeing you guys are going to be doing. So let's see what yoga cards, we moves we got for you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, and you guys can do these beautiful yoga cards. Um, you can do it literally 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 whenever <laughs> you know take a picture of this take a screenshot um maybe i'll put them on my instagram okay so let's see you guys got three and we're going to be looking at 
yes we're gonna be looking at this one first oh my so you guys got the bow and um for this beautiful this beautiful yoga move which definitely is working on your solar plexus your sacral plexus and you know it's um it's a strengthening exercise for those chakras and this card says i am the essence of strength and confidence I am the essence of strength and confidence. Beautiful. So, really beautiful. Okay, so yes. Use those. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, so for your next move, this will be your last move when you're doing them, so I will do it last, actually. Corpse pose. But uh, before you do the corpse pose, we got reclining spinal twist. So I am centered, I'm relaxed, I am at peace. I am centered, I'm relaxed, I am at peace. And this is great for getting your sacral chakra, really twisting, you know, your waist, releasing energies over there. Beautiful. I'm centered, I'm relaxed, I'm at peace. And the last move you guys got is the corpse position, you know, the corpse pose, which is my personal favorite. And uh, it's the affirmation is, my body is rested, my mind is calm, my heart is at peace, my spirit soars. My body is rested, my mind is calm, my heart is at peace, my spirit soars. So really beautiful, beautiful reading. Um, you know, I'm seeing at this time, step into your... Uh, your greater power acting with that non-judgment, showing people this beautiful energy that you're fostering within yourself. If you liked this reading group number one, then press that thumbs up, comment down below what resonated with you, I'd love to know, and I'll leave all the information if you want a personal reading or you just want to connect with me, it will all be down in the description below. It was an honor doing your reading, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <sighs> hello, hello, hello. We have group two. How are you? All right, beautiful group two. So here is your wonderful card. We have um, this beautiful, I'm going to say orange calcite crystal that goes along with this card. And uh, let's read the message. This card is titled Clean Green. Clean Green says... The air is clean now. You have slain the beast. You get what you wished for. What a feast. So, this beautiful card's message, um, with this, this chakra stone, uh, the solo, the sacral chakra being the, the ideal, the overall message with this stone, I'm seeing that you know, there's, there's a lot of action going on. There's a lot of creation force that's taking place here. But let's see, you beautiful group two, what healing messages, what messages for our own energetic self-care, what messages do we need to hear, um, you know, where are we at, what do we need to know, all of that fun jazz. Okay. So we have Six of Rods and the Lovers, and I'm going to get one more card for you guys, just for our overall message. My goodness. Okay, and the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so there's perfect, perfect. Okay, so let's look at the Six of rods first so the six of rods is a very beautiful card all about your passions and i love the colors are so they're so warm just um so victory there is a sense of finding pride in a job well done in your pursuits your passionate pursuits whether it be um a hobby whether it be something you're just really passionate about um, I'm seeing that maybe your friend has helped you or you got help along the way, you know, so you are, you feel victorious, you feel, you feel like, you know, 
and like this guy, he has these beautiful rods. All six of these rods are upright and they're just kind of emitting this, this, um, this powerful glow, I guess you could say, of confidence, of, of, um, you know, he's on a horse, so he's kind of showing himself, he's showing what he can do to others in a very passionate way, you, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm seeing, um, with the Six of Rods, and then with the Lovers, which is a beautiful Major Arcana card, um, possibly someone involved as a Gemini, you could be a Gemini, um, the person helping you could be a Gemini, um, just because the Lovers is the Gemini card in the Tower deck, so, with this being here, the lovers, um, you know, it's a beautiful card of union. It could be union with another person. It could be union with a passion. It could be, I'm seeing uh, just because of the six of rods, this could be a passion. Maybe you're passionate for this person or maybe you're just passionate for this hobby that you are doing for whatever you are proud to show others whatever you're acting on, you are almost like in love with it. Um, there's a divine connection there. So um, I'm hearing this also could bring in your divine connection, like your divine counterpart for some people. But I'm seeing that you might be afraid to let go of this with the four of pentacles falling cross section on the lovers. So this lets me know that you kind of don't want to let go. Maybe you're clinging on to, um, I don't know, the power that you have. Um, with the lovers, maybe you're clinging on to the people that you love. Um, yeah, there seems to be some kind of holding on to something. And I'm seeing that it can be very much physical. Um, so it could be, it could definitely be a person, it could definitely be, you know, maybe it's certain hobbies that you do, or certain, um, certain, like, activities that you do that make you feel proud that you do them. Maybe you're holding on to them really tightly at this time, um, with the Four of Pentacles and the Lovers. So, with that being said, you have... I'm not going to say, like, it's definitely with the lovers and six of rods. You definitely have something beautiful going on. And um, it's beautiful seeing someone step into their solar plexus, you know, step into moving in a creative way. Is there, maybe there's a sense of you need to hold on to someone as well. So maybe you need to hold on to your passion, whatever that loved that lover represents whether it be a gemini whether you know it have those tendencies of maybe it's a bit dualistic in nature there are two sides um to this and that's why you're holding on so much that's just how they come out so yeah there are oh my goodness this is pile two you guys this is looking uh pretty good though i'm definitely seeing ground yourself you can step on outside hug a tree put your feet on the ground make sure you're grounding yourself you'll be able to think a lot clearer and you'll feel more stable and i'm definitely seeing that you are this could definitely be a creative passion or pursuit if it's not a person um and you know this is saying to ground yourself in that pursuit it's saying let me see your two cards, your two alchemy deck cards to get some further messages. Okay, so all seeing and a voice box. Wow, very beautiful. So let's see what this is. Oh, maybe you guys, I just got this. What if you guys are holding on to your passion? You're not wanting to share it with the world. I'm just getting that. I'm just getting that it makes sense with the Six of Rods and the Lovers and the Four of Pentacles being cross-section. But let's see. Let's see what else we got here. We have All Seeing. And All Seeing says, Along the path, I seek to see the eyes that stare at me. To be the one that takes a look at reality like it's a book. I forgive all mistook. So maybe you felt like uh, you had to hold on tight to this because 
you know, you weren't getting the the love that you wanted, maybe. So you're forgiving that, though. It was not a mistake, but it's not where it's not where it needs to be for you. So you're letting that go. So all seeing and a voice box and voice box says if the voice box locks then you have the key just give it some love and it will open you see and i think this is really talking about expressing your passions expressing what you you know you love in life so you can feel like you're doing what you love what your heart is yearning to do in victory and be grounded in that and show your creativity in that because with the lovers and the four of pentacles and then voice box it's telling you that you need to give you need to give it love if it's locked right now if you feel like you can't let go or if it's, you're holding on a bit too tight to that idea or that person or that object or those traits you know you need to give it some love you have the key. Use your Sorry voice. about that, my friend. I just had a call, but we're right back at it again. Just give it some love. You got the voice. You know what to do with that. You need to express yourself. You need to express the creative passions that you have. You need to show them, um, you know, show them love at this time. That's what I'm really seeing for you guys. All right, so let's see what yoga cards and affirmations and yoga moves uh, for you guys during this time. Um, that you guys can take screenshots of, you can, um, repeat them, you know, whatever you find most comfortable at this time. Okay, so let's see, you guys got three cards. Let's look at this one first. Cobra. Okay, so Cobra, this beautiful card says... I rise to meet life's challenges with calm and confidence. I rise to meet life's challenges with calm and confidence. Beautiful, really opening up that heart, opening up that solar plexus chakra, opening up that throat chakra. All right, let's see. We have fish. Ooh, yes, okay, so fish is, says, I inhale life's positive energy and exhale negativity. So her hands are like right under her butt and they're just inhaling, allowing their elbows to, to do most of the pivoting so their chest can rise. And this is really opening up that heart chakra, that solar plexus chakra again, and that throat chakra. So really beautiful, really beautiful. Uh, prompting you to express in your heart so in this last pose you guys have the corpse and the corpse physician says my body is rested my mind is calm my heart is at peace my spirit soars my body is rested my mind is calm my heart is at peace my spirit soars this is personally my favorite one both groups got it so beautiful all right if you like that video, then press that thumbs up. I am so happy. I will leave all the details down below. I gotta go, but I will see you in the next video. Much love and light. Bye.